filling a Dana cartridge. You'll need your syringe, some insulin, and your linking screw. Firstly, make sure your linking screw is moving up and down the thread smoothly before setting it to the top. The blue top hat should be flush with the head of the linking screw. Then, with your syringe, double check the expiry date, making sure it's in date, before ensuring that it's sealed all the way around. There's a translucent cap on the base of the syringe that you can remove and dispose of. Inside the syringe, there's a small white cartridge cover. Keep that to one side as it will be useful later. There are teeth all around the base of the syringe. There are two corresponding teeth on either side of the linking screw. Clip the linking screw into the cartridge making sure the teeth make a proper connection. Lubricate the inside of your syringe, pushing the plunger all the way to the top and bringing it down all the way to the bottom a number of times. Now, decide on how much insulin you'd like to fill and set your plunger to that length. Each mill is 100 units and each of the short markers is 20. Remove the cap from your syringe Turn your syringe upside down, holding it in your right hand if you're right-handed, and secure the vial with your left hand. Pierce the self-seal before using your first and middle finger on the back of the syringe and your thumb and third finger over the neck. Pushing straight down, push the air into your vial before turning everything upside down and transferring it to your left hand and now releasing the bottom plunger. The syringe should fill itself due to the pressure difference. You can always give it a helping hand by pulling down on the plunger gently. Once you've filled with the insulin you'd like to retrieve, take the vial off the top of the needle, carefully recover your needle before gripping it at the very base, twisting and pulling it off. If there's any air to get rid of in the syringe, now we can do so. It's easier if you first pull back into the syringe to create a bigger air gap. With that bigger air gap you've created, you can manipulate it around the syringe to hoover up any bubbles that might have been caught at the base. If there's any stubborn bubbles, you can always give them a tap. Once you've collected all your air up at the top of the syringe, holding it as vertically as you can, Push all the air out until you only have insulin filling the neck. You should be able to see a nice dome of insulin at the top of the neck. Retrieve your white cartridge cover from earlier and very gently place it on top, just enough so that it grips. If you push this on with too much force, you'll push air into the neck and need to get rid of that before you go through to the prime. The next stage involves your Easy Setter or your Auto Setter, depending on which Dana Pump you're using. 